Beloved, in the coming week, the world will be remembering the death and resurrection from death to eternal life of our Lord Jesus Christ. What seems lost on most is the significance of this event. History shows us that this event happened some 2,000 years ago. The fact that God raised Yeshua from the dead proves Yeshua's claims regarding his own identity. I and the Father are one. In Exodus 12, we read, Now the blood shall be assigned for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So this day shall be to you a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by everlasting ordinance. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourselves according to your families and kill the Passover lamb. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your house to strike you. It is the Passover sacrifice of the Lord who passes over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when he struck the Egyptians and delivered our households. Anyone who was in a house covered by the blood of the lamb on its doorposts was saved from certain death. In Hebrews 13, 8, we read that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in Romans 2, 23, we read that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I have a question for you. Are the doorposts of your life covered by the blood of the Lamb? Yeshua is the Lamb that was slain for you and me to receive eternal life in him. In the book of Revelation chapter 5, we read the confirmation that Yeshua is indeed the Lamb that was slain for our sins. And I looked and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a song saying, You are worthy to take the, the scroll and open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard a voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times thousand and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Stay blessed as you remember Yeshua, our Passover lamb that was slain for the price of our sins. Ask him to cover the doorposts of your life with his blood. Shabbat Shalom.